Hello everyone. Welcome to Academia Coaches. Today we are going to discuss about the history and evaluation of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a young field. It has inherited its ideas, concepts and techniques from many disciplines like philosophy, mathematics, psychology, linguistics, biology, and many more. Philosophy theories of reasoning and learning have emerged from our long period of traditions. From our 400 years, the mathematics we have formal theories of logic, probability, decision making and computation. From psychology, we have the tools and techniques to investigate the human mind and ways to represent the resulting theories. Linguistics provide us with the theories of structure and meaning of language. From biology, we have information about network structure of human brain and all the theories on functionalities of different human organs. Finally, from computer science, we have tools and concepts to make artificial intelligence a reality. Okay, now coming back to history and evaluation of artificial intelligence. The first work that is now generally recognized as artificial intelligence was done in 1943. An artificial model of human neuron was proposed by Warren McLeuch and Walter Pitts. Their work based on three sources. First was the basic physiology and function of neurons in human brain. Second was the prepositional logic. And the third was the turning theory of computation. Their artificial model proposed a human neuron to be a bi-state element that is on or off and that the state of neuron depending on response to simulate by sufficient number of neighboring neurons well after that in 1956 the name of the field as artificial intelligence coined Some of the U.S. researchers got together and organized a two-month workshop at Dermouth. There were altogether only 10 attendees, although all the researchers had some excellent ideas, but the workshop did not lead to any new breakthrough. The most lasting and memorable thing that came out of that workshop was an agreement to adopt artificial intelligence as a new name for the field. In the early years, artificial intelligence met a drastic success. Newell and Simpson's early success was followed up with the first program that thought humanly a journal problem solver. After that, in 1958, an artificial intelligence programming language, LISP was developed. In MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab, McCarthy defined the high-level language called as 
Lisp that became the dominant artificial intelligence programming language in the preceding years. In 1963, some programs known as microworlds were created. Marvin Minsky, a researcher at MIT, supervised a number of students who chose limited problems that appeared to require intelligence to solve. These limited domains became known as microworlds. Some of them developed programs that solved calculus problems, whereas some developed programs which were able to accept inputs in a very restricted subset of English language and generated answers to these statements. Let's understand such programs with an example. If you ask a program that, if John is two years younger than Amina and Amina is 18 years old, then what is the age of John? The program will answer. John is 16 years old. After the micro from 1963 to 1981, researchers realized many hurdles in the field of artificial intelligence. In the beginning, the artificial intelligence researchers very confidently predicted their upcoming successes. But over the years, it was revealed that such statements and claims were really optimistic. They soon started to realize that though their techniques worked fairly well on one or two simple examples, but most of them turned out to fail when tried out on wider selection of problems. Second kind of difficulty was that many problems that artificial intelligence was trying to solve were intractable. Means they were not working all the time. And the third problem arose because of the fundamental limitations on the basic structures being used to generate intelligent behavior. Researchers went on exploring grounds and techniques and later on artificial intelligence become part of the commercial market. In 1981, the first successful commercial expert system, R1, began operation at Digital Equipment Corporation. In 1981, the Japanese announced the fifth generation project, a 10 year plan to build intelligent computers running Prolog in much same way that ordinary computers run the machine code. Then in 1986, neural networks were reinvented. In 1980s, at least Four different groups reinvented the basic propagation learning algorithm, which was first found in 1969 by Brazen and Hu. Widespread of the algorithm resulted in 
parallel distributed processing by Rommelhart and McClelland in 1986, which caused great excitement as people tried out the backpropagation neural networks as solution to many learning problems and met great successes. And finally today, there is no doubt that artificial intelligence is a booming industry. That's all for today. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.